Hello everyone. Welcome to Maths with HMD, which is Mathematics and Technology Educational Consultancy. Today we will discuss on scholastic aptitude test university entrance exam 2012-13 part 1 with neat and clear explanation. Before that, if you are new user, please try to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Let's get started. So here we are going to discuss the scholastic aptitude test Ethiopian University entrance exam section 2 which is the quantitative reasoning part. So here we have a direction. It says solve each of the problems given in question 36 up to 60 and give your answer on the answer pro sheet provided. It says so the quantitative reasoning part of this uh, SAT inverse entrance exam is given in question number 36 of 16. So we are going to start from question number 36. So it says the triangular number scales Tn can be defined recursively as T1 is equal to 1, Tn is equal to Tn minus 1 plus n for n is greater than 1. What is the eleventh term of the scans? A 66, B 45, C 78, D 55. As usual, please try to do the question by yourself and check your answer with my answer. Okay, let's continue with the answer. Here is answer for question number 36. So now, T1 is given as 1 and the n term of this triangular uh, sequence is given as Tn minus 1 plus n. This one is the general term of the sequence. So, here, Tn, Tn is equal to Tn minus 1 plus 1. Tn minus 1 implies the previous term of T of n. So, here we have T2 is equal to T1 plus 2, right? T2 is equal to T1 plus 2. T2 is equal to T1 is 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. Alright, what about T3? T3 is equal to the previous one, which is T2 plus 3 then 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 again t4 is equal to t3 plus 4 therefore t4 is equal to t3 or 6 6 plus 4 is going to be 10 again t5 is equal to t4 plus 5 then t5 is equal to 10 plus 5 which is 15 again T6 is going to be T5 plus 6, then T6 equals to 15 plus 6, which is going to be 21. Again, T7 is going to be T6 plus 7, then T7 is going to be 21 plus 7, which is 28, right? Similarly, T8 is going to be T7 plus 8, then T8 is going to be 28 plus 8, which is 36. Again, similarly, the ninth term, T9, is going to be T8 plus 9. So, T9 is equal to 36 plus 9, which is 45. Again, T10 is going to be T9 plus 10. T9 was 45. Therefore, T10 is equal to 45 plus 10. And it becomes 55. Similarly, the 11th term, T11, is going to be T10 plus 11 right so t10 is equal to i mean sorry t10 is given as 55 therefore t11 is going to be 55 plus 11 which is 66 so the 11th term of the skins is 66 and hence the answer is going to be a thank you very much let's continue here is question number 37 the next term of the skins 162,54,18,6 is A, 2, B, 1, C, 1 over 3, D, 3. As usual, please try by yourself and check your answer with my answer. Right? Let's continue. Here is the answer for question number 37. So, the, the, as, as you can see from the given scans, it seems to be geometric scans, right? It is, the first term is 162, the second term is 54, the third term is 18, and 
the fourth term is six and we are required to find the fifth term right so it is a geometric sequence because it has a common ratio so here gm is a geometric sequence which is given by 162 comma 54 comma 18 comma 6 right and it goes like this so it implies this skins is a geometric skins with a common ratio 1 over 3 can you divide the second term by the first term which is 54 divided by 162 it's going to be 1 over 3 can you divide 18 by 54 it's going to be 1 over 3 can you divide 6 by 108 oh, sorry 6 by 18 it's going to be again 1 over 3 so this is the geometric scales with common ratio 1 over 3 so the question says what's going to be the next term so what what do you think is the next term here the next term is the term which is going to be come after 6 right so that is this one is the first term this one is the second term this one is the third term and 6 is the fourth term the next term is going to be the fifth term so generally the nth term of a geometric scales can be calculated by this formula g of n is equal to g1 times r the power of n minus 1 where g1 is the first term of this geometric scales and r is the common ratio now you are going to find g5 g5 is equal to g1 times r the power of 5 minus 1 right so g5 is equal to what is g1 which is the first term of this geometric scales 162 times what the common ratio r 1 over 3 that's 1 over 3 is the power of 5 minus 1 is 4 so it becomes g5 is equal to 162 divided by 3 to the power of 4 so that is 162 divided by 81 and the answer is g5 is 2 so the answer is going to be a thank you very much let's continue again with question number 38 question number 38 is here so the first four terms of an arithmetic scans the first four terms of an arithmetic scans are 39 33 27 and 21 what is the tenth term of the scans a negative 21 b negative 15 c negative 33 d negative 27 okay as usual try by yourself and check your answer let's continue here is answer for question number 38 so n becomes 39 comma 33 comma 27 comma 21 and so on because it is given this is an arithmetic scans please could you determine the common difference d which is a2 minus a1 so d is equal to a2 minus a1 it implies d is equal to 33 minus 39 and d becomes negative 6 negative 6 is the common difference of this arithmetic scales right so as you may remember from the previous sections we have written the general formula in order to determine the n term of an arithmetic scans right so the n the n term of an arithmetic scans a n can be calculated as a1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference d so here a10 is given by a1 plus 10 minus 1 times d so a10 becomes what is a1 which is 39 can you see here which is 39 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 times what the common difference can you see here which is negative 6 so it becomes a10 is equal to 39 plus 9 times negative 6 so a10 is equal to 39 9 times negative 6 is minus 54 so a10 is equal to 39 minus 54 so a10 is negative 15 so the answer is the tenth term is negative 15 or negative 1 5 and again the answer is going to be b thank you very much let's continue again with question number 39 here is question number 39 the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic scans is 2n square plus n then what is the tenth term of the scans 39 
B 40 C 38 D 41 as usual please try by yourself and check your answer with my answer thank you very much let's continue here it is here is the answer for question number 39 here the sum of the first n terms of these arithmetic skins is given by sn is equal to 2n squared plus n again a1 actually the sum of the first one term in place a1 right so a1 is equal to s1 which is the sum of the first one term is equal to substitute one here 2 times 1 square plus 1 and it becomes a1 is equal to 2 plus 1 a1 is equal to 3 and again what is s2 the sum of the first two terms a1 and a2 this implies so s2 is equal to 2 times 2 square plus 2 and it implies s2 is equal to 8 plus 2 then s2 is equal to 10 as to generally the sum of the first two terms is a1 plus a2 this implies s2 is equal to a1 plus a2 so a2 is equal to s2 minus a1 and it implies a2 is equal to what is s2 which is 10 10 minus what is a1 which is 3 that is 10 minus 3 therefore a2 becomes 7 this implies the, the, the second term is 7 Therefore, the common difference D is equal to A2 minus A1. D is equal to 7 minus 3. Then the common difference becomes 4. Again, generally, A10, we have, we have, we have seen the general, how, how we can determine the general term of an arithmetic scale in question number 38, right? So, AN is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times D. So, similarly, A10 is equal to A1 plus 10 minus 1 times D. So, a10 is equal to a1 plus 9d. So a10 is equal to what is the value of a1? Which is 3. 3 plus what the value of d? 4. 9 times 4. Which is a10 is equal to 3 plus 36. So a10 is equal to 39. So the answer, the tenth term of this arithmetic scale is going to be 39. So the answer is A. Thank you very much for watching my video. And you can watch the Scholastic Update playlist using the link in the description box below. And the next session is going to be Scholastic Update Test University Entrance Exam 2012-13 Part 2. Thank you very much.